Hi, my name is Cristian Ricardo Portillo Gutierrez and my ID number is 2009-14-894. And I'm Julio Ernesto Arevalo Valdez, ID number 2009-15-507 and this is our project theme, Basic Concepts and Application of Relational Databases. To begin, let's talk about the principal aspects of databases, like obviously what a database is, an introduction to relational database management systems like tables or relational models and others and we will take a look to how a database structure is. Now, what a database is? A database is a structured collection of data. Each database is designed depending on which type of data it's going to manage. Daily, we use any kind of database along the day. Some examples of this are an address book where we keep information about friends, parents and others, a card index which is a simple way to organize data and other information. It's necessary to extend a difference between a database itself and the software which manages. The database can be compared to a library because it's where all the information is storage and registered and according to its analogy, if the database is the library, the database management system will be the librarian who is who control the creation, maintenance and use of the database with computer as platform through its end user. The most popular database management system, or DBMSs, are Oracle, Microsoft Query Structure Query Language, Microsoft Access, MSQL, PostgreSQL, and MySQL, which are very powerful tools to adequately manage a database. Now it's time to explain what is a relational database management system, or RDBMS. An RDBMS is a DBMS in which data is stored in form of tables, and the relationship among the data is also stored in the form of tables. This explanation may result a little confusing, and to extend it, here is an example. Let's think for a moment that we own a shop, and we need to register the customers and the products that they buy. For that, we draw a table with two columns on it. In, in the first one, we put the customers, and the second one, the products. Now, a few customers came and made their shopping, but the first one comes back and buy again. Now we have to register him again, repeating his name, which is a problem when the amount of data is bigger because we are wasting space in our hard drive by adding the same name over and over again. But this is not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that this allows to completely ruin our database because they may use another name, the customer's name may be misspelled and this may look our database like a nonsense collection of data because it, it has lost its purpose because the same customer may be registered in several different ways in our non-relational database system. Now, in a relational database management system, we will have a more flexible and functional system because we separate the customer's table from the product's table. Now, when a customer makes a purchase, once they have been added to our database, the system will relate the customer with the order. This kind of system prevents that a customer may shop several times and it won't register the same name more than once. This way of relation is shown on the graphic by joining each name with its respective or purchase order. We can see what the system will do when the customer buys something again by simply joining the same registered name with the new purchase order, which prevents any kind of mistakes like misspelling, use of first or second name and others. Now that we have seen in a very abstract way what is a database and different ways to manage them, it's time to see how a database really works, and this is through its structure. The first part of the structure of a database is the table, which is where the data is stored according to different kind of, di of data types, such ID, name, quantity, date, and many others. The important thing is that all the data must be similar so it can be treated in a similar way. A table is divided by columns and rows, which classify the data on it. Columns are the vertical data and rows are the horizontal ones. This is made to relate different tables between them, establishing key fields, known as primary key and foreign key. Now we have another table, and we can relate them by the relationships between the data on them. In this case, the relationship is groups and sums, because we can have three sums of one group in a table, but we don't have to register the group three times so we can see the advantages of a well-structured database system. In this case, the relationship is one to many because one group can have many songs, but notice that in the other way, 
the relationship is one to one because a zone can only have assigned one group. To summarize, a database is a structure of data related by, it, by its own properties, which can be accessed by users through a database management system, which improves many tasks by eliminating repetitive processes on it.